Hello YouTube and welcome back to Psych Rock Central, where Psych Rock lives on. And today we're going to be going over Cream's Disraeli years. Uh, part of my pronunciation, we're just going to jump right into it. So Cream were a British psych rock band formed with legendary Eric Clapton of Yardbirds fame and Jack Bruce. While Jack Bruce was the primary songwriter and composer for Cream, Eric Clapton's influence on the band would go on to inspire him to pursue his own solo career, particularly with 1970s Layla and other assorted love songs. They were famous for their group improvisations both in studio and live on certain live performances across the years, and though their three-year career was short, they produced four classic psych rock albums in that brief tenure, which is very impressive for any band to achieve, let alone one that would go on to receive a lot of international acclaim many years after their heyday. So what are the music, what is the music like itself? Well, it's a pretty obvious fusion of the pioneering hard rock and psychedelic rock itself. The band forgoes their blues roots in order to pursue very, very catchy psychedelic rock on tracks such as Sunshine of Your Love, which we'll go over in a little bit. And they also have a very polished, self-contained sound. The album is free from the group's improvisational nature, and they also get rid of their blues rock roots in order to pursue the ability to craft very iconic, almost immortal riffs in the psychedelic rock sphere from just their blues influence alone. Uh, my personal favorite track would be Sunshine of Your Love, which creates this immortal bass riff, this immortal riff itself, and the group just plays over top of that, especially with the guitar solo, very improvised guitar solo in the middle of the track. But uh, there's another track that we'll go over that I also really like. I can't remember its name off the top of my head, but uh, this was a very short episode. To be honest, this was a very short episode, mainly because I have like one major issue with this album, which is on the slide. Uh, nonetheless, Cream displays their very acrobatic, psychedelic rock. Uh, the music, in my opinion, exceptionally takes that blues that they were working with for many years beforehand, and although they forego it in the sake of pop rhythms and pop melodies, they transform it into rock music for those tired of the standards be standard Beatles fare. Beatles, obviously, very, very famous British psychedelic rock group. They were playing around the same time that Cream was, and since Cream was much more of a counterculture band, they played a lot more for underground audiences at the time, until they received international acclaim themselves, and managed to stand to the test of time, and stand on the same shoulders as people like the Beatles, and the previous band, the Yardbirds. The blues rock, however, in my opinion, I think this is the one major issue. The blues rock is just missing. They completely abandon their blues rock, rather than embracing it and becoming more ambitious with its use in the songwriting. Now mind you, Cream would pick up blues rock in itself and make it much more emphasized in their next album, Wheels of Fire, but on this one, even though it's their more famous record, the blues rock, it should have been there from the beginning. There was no reason for it to really be missing on any part of this album. There's a couple of tracks that are not only covers of blues songs, but do take that blues rock tradition. Namely, uh, Tales of Brave Ulysses is one of them. Uh, but there was another contemporary album that I think does this much, much better in terms of fusing blues rock and psychedelic rock, which I will cover later on this channel. And ultimately, this just feels like it's something missing. And that something missing definitely detracts some of my, my score for this album. Nonetheless, it contains several psychedelic rock masterpieces. I, I can name two off the top of my head. There's Sunshine of Your Love, which was written mainly by Jack Bruce and performed by the entire band, and Tales of Brave Ulysses, which was Clapton's major contribution. It's this six-minute tour de force of ambitious yet tortured guitar licks. It's psychedelic rock in general. It's very, very catchy. At least Sunshine of Your Love is very, very catchy. Tales of Brave Ulysses is a generally brilliant songwriting track. And I think they're major highlights of psychedelic rock in general. So, Kareem's Disraeli Gears, to sum it up, is very, very good at creating very catchy, almost immortal psychedelic rock music, but ultimately it falls flat 
in some areas because it's missing that blues rock influence that goes a long way in making it stand on its own merit. For that, I will detract some of the score. Uh, I'll only give it a 7 out of 10. It's still very good. In Sunshine of Your Love and Tales of Brave Ulysses, in my opinion, saved the album completely. Nonetheless, it could have been better. It just could have been better. And there were albums at the same time that were doing the blues rock influence in a more subtle way that I think are a lot better than this album, unfortunately. But I think 7 out of 10, still a very, very good score. So I'd like to thank you for watching. Tune in next time. I'll be posting. I finally found a decent schedule to post every Tuesday and Friday, both on here and on the blog. So stay tuned to that. Uh, but I will catch you later, YouTube.